What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Motor Trend Cargo Mat. In this review I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this cargo mat, including one thing that you should know before buying. So first off guys, we got this cargo mat. We got a new car. It is a Lincoln Aviator um, and it has a third row seat as you can see here. We actually took them down. Uh, we leave them down most of the time so we figured you know what there would be. It would make sense to have something in here that would protect it because uh, we have a lot of baby strollers, things like that that are going in and out of the car and didn't really want to destroy the carpet. So overall, as you can see here, this is what the cargo mat looks like, right? Um, it is very strong. These are just big pieces of plastic, basically a little bit of cushion on the inside of them. So there is a little bit of softness. Um, one thing that's really nice this, to this is that it's not, you can kind of see it here, but these little spikes, if you will, right? It doesn't really slide, which is definitely a big deal for us. Um, you know, just because, like I said, we have a lot of stuff going in and out of the car and want to make sure that it's not sliding while we do that. So I really, really like that about it. Another nice thing that I like about this is that, uh, I don't remember exactly where it was, somewhere, I think over here, um, but we had a picnic somewhat recently and we had some lemonade that had spilled and it basically puddled up all inside of here and everything. We were able to kind of just take it right out. You know, you can just yank it out of the car and clean it up. Um, but yeah, so overall, it does a really good job of protecting and, you know, it, the hardest part to this, which is the thing I think you should know about it, is the size of it, right? So we have a Lincoln Aviator. It's not a full-size SUV, but it's a it's a midsize, a large midsize, if you will. Um, and this is the one thing that we noticed, and we still haven't gotten around to cutting it because we've only had this thing for like a couple weeks now. Uh, but basically, right here and all the way through here, you could see that there is overlap, right? So we don't necessarily know exactly what we're going to do here. We think that we're going to cut it at least over there. I don't know if we're going to cut this because it's kind of nice that it protects this stuff right here. I don't necessarily know that I want to get it damaged. Um, but to, to actually trim this, it's supposed to be really, really easy. And I definitely, before we, um, you know, trim this thing apart, I definitely want to do a video. So all you have to do is just grab a pair of scissors. You can cut all these you know, there's a reason that all these grooves are here. You can basically just cut along any of those grooves to custom fit this to your vehicle. That's the thing that's the hardest thing about it or the thing to know is that it's probably not going to automatically just fit right into your vehicle. I don't know exactly what sizes it defaults to and where it will fit really easily. Um, you may have to trim it up like we have to, but overall in terms of a mat and doing what it needs to do, which is protecting the carpet underneath and the car underneath, uh, it is doing a very good job. So yeah, if you're considering it, we definitely like it so far and recommend it from the uh, time that we've experienced with it so far.